So today we have elocution competition. Fine? Are you all interested? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Can all of the names? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, raise your hands. Who can who, who name I can enroll? Wait, this is a get up. Stage What about others? Three children, if you win the competition, you will get a cash award of worth rupees 1000. Now raise your hands who are interested. Ma'am, in a situation like this, I am unable to motivate the children to participate. So, how should I handle this situation? I suggest the following. The first thing is to motivate your students about participating in the competition. Number two, you can create some awareness on the topic or maybe you can pick up some hints and try to develop the hints so that you can involve students in the discussion or at least provoke some thought process in them. Number three, you can tell them about the importance of participating in the competition and the need for them to participate in it. You can also go further to tell them how special you feel to see them on stage or to see them, you know, take part in this competition. And go ahead and share some of your personal experiences of how you overcame stage fear or how activities have helped you to become a particular person. So sometimes children try to connect with personal experiences better. When it comes to announcing the prizes or the prize money, some students may not show any kind of enthusiasm because they don't really worry about the prize or the prize money. So for such type of children, I think you should try the inner connect, try to tap their inner potential. And for this, you need to engage in many conversations, share experiences, draw your own experiences into the process and tell them that there is a need for people like them to start developing the art of speaking because tomorrow they may be leaders, they may be in a position to make policies for the nation, or they may be representing the nation world over. So there's a lot of counseling required. A technique that I follow till today is I group my class into five or six small clusters and for each cluster I have a leader in place. Sometimes when the class is not motivated to get engaged in the TLP, which is a teaching learning process, I trigger the cluster leaders and ask them to make sure that you know there's proper participation from their clusters. For example, now this same competition which this particular student teacher was announcing, after I've done all the necessary background work, as I said earlier, then the next level is to put it on to the onus of the leaders, the cluster leaders, to make sure that at least there's one participant from each cluster. So you should get about six participants for your class. Try these techniques and sometimes you may even come up with your own technique and I'll be happy to hear from you. Please do share your experience with me because I'm also in the process of learning with you.